Good day to you, my friend. My name is Joseph Archibald. You might have heard of my son, J.F. Archibald. Yes, that's the fella, the one who started up the Archibald Art Prize and was the founder of the magazine The Bulletin, Australia's first nationwide publication. Now, my son was born here in Geelong in 1856, during the time when I was police sergeant in Geelong West. I came from Dublin in Ireland, in case you can't tell from my accent. And let me tell you, those were some crazy days in this town, with thousands of people arriving each week for the gold rushes, and not every man was an honest miner. One of the worst, I reckon, was a bush ranger known as Melville. You ever heard of him? Captain Melville, he called himself. Pretended to be an English gentleman, so he did. But in truth, he was nothing more than a petty criminal. He'd been transported from Scotland for housebreaking, and his real name was Francis McCollum. He was a nasty piece of work for sure. He ran a notorious gang of thieves who held up travellers going back and forth from the gold rushes in the Black Forest. And that was about halfway between Geelong and Ballarat. Now at Christmas in 1852, Melville and his accomplice, William Roberts, went on a massive crime spree, which ended with them holding up two bush worker walkers in Fyansford. They celebrated by spending two nights in the Black Bull Hotel and a bordello in Mallop Street. Now after Melville started bragging that he had a hundred pound reward on his head, one of the girls reported them to the police, and that's when the fun really started. When he heard the police coming through the front door, Melville smashed the window out the back and scarpered. Then there was a chase until he got to the Trobes Dam. Ah, oh, that's right. You don't call it that now, do you? You call it Johnston Park. That beautiful park right there behind us. But back in those days, it was a filthy, swampy bog, full of God knows what, and it had a narrow wooden walkway across it. That's where we got him, because there was nowhere for him to run. Thirty-two years hard labour he got in the end. Of course he tried to escape, but the rotter ended his days in the Melbourne jail. So, you think history is dull, eh? Well, I can tell you tales of this fair city that would make your hair curl. Why don't you have a chat with one of my friends here in the Heritage Centre? You won't believe the juicy information they have at their fingertips. Right. Well, it's nice talking to you, but I've to be off now, and we Irish don't like to say goodbye, though. So I'll just say Sean up hell. Safe home now.